Whoo, what's up? This is Adam here on Real and Teal. Welcome back. It's been a little bit of a while, a little bit of a trip. I haven't done a whole lot of the preaching videos lately. I kind of really need to get myself in check, be honest with you, vocabulary especially. Just keeping it real. <laughs> but uh, today is an unboxing video. And today I have something interesting to show you, and I think this would improve my streams. When I'm kind of like a visual DJ, if you will. Woo! Hey, look at that. It's a stream deck from Elgato. Not the mini, not the extra large, but the regular. And let's do an unboxing video. Yeah. As you can see, there's nothing in here, but nothing. It's wonderful. Uh, an instruction booklet. Interesting. Oh, I almost whipped out the cord and threw it behind me. But the cord is actually attached to it. I, I literally almost grabbed the cord and was like, here's the cord. <laughs> But I yanked out and this popped off too. I'm like, oh crap. Yeah, that would suck. So anyway, I got gobstoppers in my mouth. Here's the uh, buttons. Kind of like a rubber-ish kind of feel. They got a little bit of a con... And here's the interesting. If you ever look at the pictures online, the concave looks like it bubbles out on the buttons. But they don't. They actually concave inward, kind of like a skateboard. I mean, have, have a look at yourself. See? They concave inward and not outward. But it, that's interesting. I kind of like that. So on each row, you have five. That's 15 buttons. But in the programs and software, you can add a folder on one. So if you click on the folder, then it'll pop up more options. And what I'm going to use this for is when I'm playing my games like Fortnite, Super Smash, especially Super Super Smash Brothers, or Warzone, you know, Call of Duty. I'm gonna get at the monitor, and I got controller in my hand. I'm like, and you know, often I screw up and I do something dumb and I fail, and I want to hit the you know the little fail icon on my computer over here instead of. Reaching the mouse, looking for it, I have to scroll down and hit that button and make sure I click on the little eyeball so it shows up. I can look this way, have the stream deck right below my monitor, while looking at the game, take one hand off the controller, boop, hit the button. Two clicks. Now it shows up on the screen, it goes away. That simple. Bah, bah. Instead of doing all this. And if I got if I gotta be right back, I gotta go to the bathroom. While I'm playing the game, hey guys, I'll be right back. Boop, hit the button, go. And, you know, with this camera setup, video recording, maybe a little editing, I gotta figure all that out. I can make a little intro gif or whatnot, or when I'm dressing up as Weepy <laughs> the Happy Clown on my streams, I can take an image of him or a video of him and program it in one of these. Maybe I could do sound effects for when people subscribe or hit the like button. I go, whoa! And, you know, hit that button. <laughs> and, you know, different little stuff like sound effects and stuff. Like, whoa! And beep, beep, beep. All those little buttons. And each one can be like a sound effect or a little image that pops up on the screen. <laughs> and I can do the be right back. So I can hit the go live. I'm not really, to me, it doesn't really make a big deal if I hit the go live button or or whatnot, or end stream, because literally, it's literally, I like, click on the mouse. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But, if I wanted to save one of the buttons as the link for my Discord, then every time I want to put that link on my stream chat to remind everyone I have a Discord channel, which I do, by the way, I will put it in my description. I now have a Discord channel for available for you guys. And it, it, it's uh, labeled as Real and Teal's Twitch chat. And that will be it. You guys can give me thoughts, opinions. and Through there is when I let you guys know when I have a new stream coming up. And so on there, 
all that fun crap. But yeah, I, I can have like, the hit the little button and it'll pop up on there. And also, I do have a PayPal account. I'm not going to sit here and beg for you guys any donations or anything like that. Because by all means, we all have bills to pay. You know what I'm saying? But if you ever feel like you're in that giving mood, ah, you know, hey, <laughs> the link is in the description. Any little bit of counts, any little bit helps, and thank you very much. And so, anyway, that's it. Uh, so, it does come with software. That there, there is software that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to put it on your computer. You're going to have to download the software. And through there, you can program each little button. And here's the fun fact. You know, each little button, it'll act, each, each button has an LCD screen behind it. It's either LED or LCD, something like that. And it'll light up whatever image you want to put on there which makes it even easier so it's about 159 about 160 bucks not bad but if you really want to take your streams to the next level and you're like me you like to put images and kind of like a visual dj if you will then you like the special effects and all that on your stream then it's definitely a must and here's the stamp I assume it balances on here. Oh, yeah. There you go. Look at that. Fantastic. You put it right here. It balances. And I could tap on it. It's not going to... It is flimsy, though. But for the most part, when you're pushing your button, you know, sometimes when you push the button, you might be kind of rough on it. See? That's pretty cool. Because, I mean, if I'm doing it real fast, I'm not going to be like, Ooh. I'm not going to be like super gentle. I'm not going to be like, no, I'm gonna hit the hell out of there, especially when you're mad at Call of Duty. You're like, <laughs> and these are probably the instructions, so you might have to get your reading glasses. <laughs> you're like, yeah, especially they expect you to read this tiny handwriting. You're like, ah, I can't read. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that crap. Like they give you a big old freaking box. Oh, let me go get it. Let me go get it. Flex! That's right. Unborn lives matter. They give you a big old box. And here's another booklet. That's not too bad. That's readable. You can read that. But come on, come on, come on. Elgato, Elgato, work with me. Work with me. The hell, dude? You, you serious? Big old freaking box. And this could have been bigger. You know, it could have been the size of the box. <laughs> it's in all kinds of different languages. And you really want me to whip this out and be like... And it's in tiny print. It's in tiny print because we all know they don't want to They don't want to make an extra page. I mean... Man, come on, dude. All that for that. But whatever. I guess I had to complain about something. Ha! Ah. So, one last thing I want to update with you guys. My uh, <laughs> wife got on to me. Because when I, I get mad playing the game, especially Warzone, I go... And I hit my desk. Well, right below is our bedroom. And so when she's going to bed at night, she says it sounds like I'm stomping my feet. And she goes, why are you stomping your feet? I'm like, I'm not. I'm hitting the desk. It's got a warranty. Gaming desk. So, when my son had his circumcision back in December, was it December? Yeah. They gave him this. I mean, come on. How girly can we get? My son, he had a circumcision. I forgot how old he was at that time. He's 10 months now. They give him this. And it doesn't even have two ears. This is a company called uh, Squish Mallows. Squish Mallows. You can't give it two ears. It's got one freaking ear. Where's the other? Where? Where is it? Where? 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 And is this a pig or is this a unicorn? Can someone help me out with this? Is this a pig or is this a unicorn? Should it go? Rrr, 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 or should it go? Rrr? I mean, what is this? Is this a pig or unicorn? Because unicorns don't have pig noses. What's up with that? 
one ear. One ear. This is what I bake now when I get mad. I slap it and... Now, FYI, please, please, let's not start a rant war because I know it's a unicorn. I know there's a specific community that uses unicorns. I don't want you thinking, oh, he hates us. He's using this and beating it when he gets mad. Dude, seriously, it has one ear. It's defected. <laughs> I'm using this because I definitely don't want my son to have this. Come on, it's girly. Give my son one that's a little boyish. And this is what I'm going to hit. So when I get mad, I'm hitting something. I'm not breaking my hand. I'm not breaking stuff in here. I'm setting a better example for my son and my wife. Because it makes her happy. So now when I get mad, instead of breaking stuff and throwing a hissy fit. Cursing and hollering. Which is why I haven't been making my preaching videos. Because I have been cussing like a sailor. Lately and getting mad at these games. I admit, I admit, I, hey, no one's perfect. No one's perfect. I have a lot, I have a lot to grow. I have a lot of growing to do, just like everyone. <laughs> Not perfect. Just being honest with you guys, transparent. But, this is my new punching bag. This one-eared unipig. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I was rambling. I just figured I shared it. <laughs> so you got a little more than what you bargained for. Anyway, this is Adam. I'm real into you. If you have not yet, this channel has a lot of all kinds of different stuff. Maybe I'm doing too much. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you have it. Or just hit the like button. Or make a comment. Even if it's a trash talking comment. And be warned. I respond. I'm not one of those YouTubers where you just go on my channel, run your mouth, and not expect me to say something in return. Oh yeah, I'm not your walking doormat. I respond. So I hope sarcasm doesn't offend you because uh, it goes both ways. Just saying. Anyway, hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.